hi everyone uh, welcome to my uh, youtube channel in this video i'm going to explain about how to upgrade the cisco router using the uh, tftp server uh, let's uh, see the process so uh, consider that in a, in a network right you have like 100 plus routers uh, in your customer topology or your managed services network where you will be uh, you know you are given a task to upgrade all the routers and the uh, tftp server is considered locating located in india okay and you have like some 50 routers in india and in remote uh, in the global you have the uh, another like 100 plus routers are there so all these uh, routers in the network you have to upgrade so uh, most in the case uh, what we do is like uh, from the uh, tft ser server in the local location we'll do the upgrade and for the remote location what we'll do uh, we will upload this image in one of the router uh, in the network and we configure tftp services on that router then uh, what we do in the remaining uh, other routers in the network uh, will use this particular router as a TFTP server uh, to for the upgrade uh, because the latency uh, between this TFTP server to the uh, remote uh, look, routers right so we'll have like latency high latency to avoid that that uh, we can uh, enable the uh, Cisco router as a TFTP server and then we'll be able to upload the image and perform the upgrade and uh, you can see like uh, there are pre-verification steps that uh, you need to follow one is the uh, show file uh, system uh, it will show the uh, what are the uh, file system is available on the uh, router and uh, consider like uh, direct directory flash uh, zero i uh, given this command there will be flash one two three based on the uh, router also slot zero slot one so based on the uh, system that you are working on the uh, flash will be uh, different and you can check what is the memory size that is available on the router before you upload the image so because uh, if you don't have any space uh, available uh, in that particular memory then you will not be able to uh, succeed the uh, upgrade so you need to make sure that you have like uh, enough uh, memory on the uh, all the routers in the network so that it can able to uh, you know save the image locally for the upgrade and uh, uh, next is a uh, command to enable the uh, tftp server on the uh, cisco routers uh, for that you need to enable uh, the two commands for tftp one is the uh, tftp source interface and another one is the tftp server where your local image uh, it's located in my lab that i use the uh, flash zero the image and next is uh, you need to copy uh, from the remote router where you want to upgrade uh, from there you can execute this command copy flash and then tftp so flash means flash zero or one or maybe slot zero so based on where the image is uh, located so uh, you can use this uh, particular command or you can uh, it is from the flash to the tftp server and in other way you need to use copy tftp to the flash i just uh, given the uh, other way around so you need to use copy tftp and flash uh, once the image is copied then uh, verify the uh, md5 using a uh, verify command on the available uh, in the cisco router to match the source image uh, md5 and the destination uh, image uh, md5 once uh, it is downloaded so it is a must step you need to uh, do it verifying the md5 then after that uh, you need to uh, go to the configuration terminal and enable the boot sequence and then uh, write and reload the router you will be uh, you know upgrade the router uh, successfully so let's do it on the uh, virtual router that i have in my lab there are two routers that i have uh, in the lab as you can see uh, r1 and r2 i'm going to enable r2 as uh, my uh, tftp server and then i'll be uh, uploading the image uh, from or you can say i can download the image from r1 to uh, from r2 then i will perform the upgrade steps and show it to you guys okay uh, so in order to do the r2 as an uh, tftp server so let me see uh, check the uh, reachability it's 10.0.0.1 Okay, I don't have the reachability, so I have the interface brief. Okay. So you need to make sure that you know all the uh, the reachability between the source router and the router that you have the image on the network have the reachability first. OK, 
here also it is turned i didn't check here i just look yes now it will be reachable let's wait for the alarm to pop yes it is reachable now it will be reachable yes it is reachable now so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna check the uh, memory so for that i'm gonna execute show file system okay here uh, this particular command will list the uh, what are the uh, available memories uh, inserted in the router and what is the uh, size and what is the free available on that particular disk so here uh, you use this command to verify the same then after that uh, you can use like uh, so in our case that we are going to use this directory flash zero so i'm going to use command dir it's a directory and then i'm going to do the flash so it says that you can use flash or flash zero so either prefixes works for the flash zero only okay if you give flash so you can see like if i give flash or flash zero they both are same okay so what i'm gonna do is now uh, i did both so i'm gonna uh, verify the md5 for this particular image for example okay so the command is to uh, verify the md5 is uh, verify slash md5 and you need to uh, flash zero where the image is and then you can put so it will run like this it will verify the md5 and it will give us the value so once uh, this particular image is uploaded over r1 so we will going to uh, use the uh, you know same command to verify the uh, md5 ash the md5 ash if it is uh, different then there is while uploading uh, or we can say like uh, there is some corruption in the image so the uh, your uh, particular upgrade will not go into success and this is applicable for any vendor actually let it run for like few seconds uh, so that we will get our uh, md5 uh, value for that particular image so this i'm talking about in the case that i already have the ftp server i uploaded the image from ftp server to r1 and i did an upgrade so from the R R2 that I'm copying the image on R1, then I'm going to do an upgrade. So this is the scenario that currently we are talking. So now we have made the uh, Cisco router as uh, R2 as an TFTP server. So, okay, let's, uh, well, it verifies. Let's check the uh, show file system. Uh, okay, now we have the, uh, this is the uh, size and this is the free uh, memory available and which is uh, like enough for me to upgrade the uh, you know this particular router okay so here you can see this is the uh, md5 value that i got it from the uh, router so this is how you need to verify the md5 within the cisco router so you don't need an any lag server uh, you know you need to verify each and every time you can use this uh, command to verify your md5 once it is done then uh, type like ip uh, tftp uh, sorry you have to go inside configuration IP. tftp server then uh, what is the image that flash uh, zero so this is the uh, image uh, anyone can download uh, if they use the uh, tftp uh, application in my network then IP TFTP. I need to give the source interface. Uh, mostly it should be gig 0 slash 0, but uh, I didn't configure any uh, loopback interface, so I give an uh, active interface which is uh, gig 0 slash 1. Sorry, gig 0 slash 0. Okay, now the configuration has been done. Uh, the TFTP server is enabled on this router. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, uh, I'm going, I'm gonna. With this I'm going here I'm saying like I already did a verification what is the memory available so copy uh, tftp to you can use an URL also here uh, slash slash and you can use the uh, IP address of the tftp uh, server and then the uh, flash uh, instead like if the Cisco router is already the, uh, we are like already the Cisco router is acting as a tftp server I'll just put this uh, coffee TFTP to flash zero. It has the host name. So this is the host name uh, of the TFTP server. It has the source file name. 
uh, the source file name is uh, this one yep and as whether well you need to have the same uh, way uh, you know the image as it is in virtual router that I'm gonna uh, do just add something so that it will impact my existing v image and it's accessing now and it started uh, downloading the image okay so it will take some time uh, for the image to uh, download on this particular router because in production uh, you know based on the uh, you know the latency the uh, it will take some time so precautionary what you have to do before you perform an upgrade uh, verify the commands and upload the image to the router in the uh, maintenance window always uh, so that in all the uh, routers will have the image already ready and verify your MT5 so I'm going to cancel this this is just a step that which I want to show you so I'm going to cancel this step uh, okay so the next command once uh, if your image is downloaded so you can verify using directory flash zero here you can see that uh, here uh, flash zero i have the new image uh, but you can see the image size also okay so now if i check source show file system so here you can see now uh, free memory is different now okay so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do going you know go into configuration terminal then I'm gonna do a command boot system now I need to mention the system uh, image name tf uh, sorry you can use directly from the tftp I already downloaded uh, locally so why we do uh, you know locally because it's it's always secure that you do it from the local okay so this is the command that you need to enable then write it then what I'm going to do is just uh, give uh, reload confirm it okay now it is asking like which one to upgrade here you can see it right then it is booting so yeah this is how uh, we need to uh, perform the uh, upgrade on the uh, Cisco router and hope uh, this is uh, useful for you guys and if you like the video press a like button and share and subscribe thank you very much for watching